What's up, Internet? Corey Zamier here. I've been tagged. Um, this is a tag in tubers response, I guess. I was tagged by Papa Yoshi. Link will be down in the description. Oh, shit, I didn't even think about who I'm going to tag. Let me think about that for later. Um, <laughs> this is about five things you don't know about me. Uh, I'm going to try and keep this kind of short because I can, I can end up rambling on shit like this. Um, it's actually kind of hard coming up with five things just because I feel like I'm kind of an open book on YouTube. You know, like, real name, no gimmicks, my motto, and I feel like I've kind of at least alluded to some of the things that I could have gone over in this, so I kind of was scraping the bottom of the barrel. So, if you knew this, it's fucking possible, I guess, but let's go. Number one, I absolutely love podcasts. I, even, even more so than just video game podcasts, um, given most of them stem from video game websites like IGN, I listen to most of their podcasts, or at least I used to, Podcast Beyond, uh, Nintendo Voice Chat, I was even listening to, like, their UK podcast for a little bit, uh, Podcast Unlocked, and, like, spinoffs such as, uh, The Game Over Greggy Show. Uh, kind of funny games cast, comedy button especially. Alicia and I wa uh, watch and listen to the comedy button quite a bit, um, to the point where we were re-listening to episodes in my car just because I'm too lazy to put new episodes of podcasts on my iPod. Um, fuck, even <laughs> I think the reason I'm okay with the ladies, aka Alicia, is because I listen to the not uh, Super Knocking Boots podcast and I know how to talk to people. Um, even, even back before video games, I used to listen to, uh, Geek Nights, that give me ideas on, like, different animes, and just how to be, I don't know, more intelligent about certain things. I really enjoy Geek Nights, you can find some of the descriptions in the uh, comments below, I'm gonna leave them there. Uh, what else did I like for podcasts? Star Wars Action News, which is a really weird one for me to like, just because... Of all the things, I've never really been that into Star Wars uh, action figure collecting, but for some reason, I really like listening to people talk about it. It was really weird. Which kind of leads me into the next thing. I kind of go through phases with my, I guess, geekdom. Um, I'm all, I've am i always considered myself kind of an all-around geek, as far as like anime, comic books action figures, video games, although I definitely kind of put myself more in the video game camp, obviously, as you can see behind me. Um, but when I originally started this channel, it was kind of going to be kind of like an all-around geek channel. You know, I would be talking about anime, uh, comic books that I've read, or at least trade paperbacks, because collecting individual comic books is just crazy, you know? Um, but, like, I've definitely gone through a lot of phases. Uh, most of what you see behind you on this shelf used to be anime DVD sets and bottom half was all manga. Really expensive. It was really expensive. There was a point where I used to spend, this is back when I was making a lot less too, so it was a lot harder for just be like every week I'd get paid and about $100 of my paycheck would go to manga. And I would come home I would read pretty much all of it before work. I'd read through like $100 worth of manga before work. They're just like, what the? It was terrible. <laughs> um, so, I'm very happy that my, I guess my geek, geeky focus has kind of like landed on video games just because I feel like it's a more, I don't even know what to call it, like, I like the the community, the video game community we have here, and I just really don't know where I'd be without watching YouTube and being a part of YouTube. Uh, I feel like other hobbies, kind of like anim, like if I were just like watching anime, like that's a very solitary thing. And like, what am I gonna do? Converse with people on the message boards, arguing about anime? Like that's that's some mother's basement shit this isn't a basement it's my mom's house but it's not a basement all right number three 
<laughs> Let's get to this one. I didn't talk in high school. Pretty much at all. Like, I had a very close... I had, like, two circles of friends. Most of them were in marching band, and the other ones were playing D&D. And if you weren't in one of those circles of friends, I pretty much didn't talk to you. Um, there was points, at least in the freshman year, and everybody always kind of tried to pick on me a little bit. Uh, I was overweight, and... The thing is, I, I feel like I was overweight, but I was scary enough that I didn't get, like, the kind of picking on and harassment that you see in, like, after-school specials, because I'd probably fuck somebody up. I know I would've. It never actually came to that, though. Anyway, uh, I was damn near borderline fucking goth kid. I was almost a fat goth kid. Like, I was wearing Slipknot shirts, Mudvayne shirts... Uh, disturbed. It was kind of weird because I, I like I listened to heavy metal back then, and I also listened to rap. But I really didn't like the other goth kids in the school at all. Like they were just nope. I could tell something was wrong with that shit. Not you know, well, that's kind of harsh. But at least back then, and you know, being a high school kid without much worldview, I guess. Definitely didn't want to hang with that crowd. Uh, number four, if we're keeping track. I am half black and half white. Uh, I don't know if a lot of people know that. That's like one of those things where it's just like, you reply sitting there like, just like, no shit. And then the other half of you reply just like, wait, you're not Hispanic? Because I get that a lot in, in my work. Like, people will come up to me and they'll start speaking Spanish to me. And it's just like, no no fucking clue what you're saying. Mi amo es Cory. That's about it. Donde esta la biblioteca? Um, number five. I used to play Magic the Gathering and a lot of my adult friends were basically my Magic the Gathering team. I still go camping with them like once or twice a year but honestly I don't see them much Asides from that, it's kind of sad. Uh, I actually at one point was playing Magic so consistently that instead of like weekend adventure and video game hunting, all my life was basically preparing for the weekend, getting whatever deck for a tournament, like a Pro Tour qualifier or a Grand Prix. Like These words are probably just gibberish to you, but basically Magic tournaments that you could win money in and qualify for bigger and better tournaments and one of my friends is actually doing that professionally right now he actually writes for one of the major Magic the Gathering websites and that's really cool I'm always supporting him but at the same time I'm also kinda like wondering like if I'd really focused on it like could I have done that probably not he's really fucking smart he has a math degree but let me know in the comments below what you thought about these I guess five things you didn't know about me. Let me know if you knew them. And maybe I'm, you know, just fucking up with us. I am going to be tagging... What is it, like three people? Let's just do this off the top of my head. Jay the Video Game Guy. Retro Remix Nation. And... Gear Bears Gaming Ground. If you guys have already been tagged, sorry, you got double tagged. Um... Yeah, as always, like, comment, subscribe, it's about time for me to hit the hay, and as always, keep it real, internet. Also, shout out to whoever started this, because I ain't got no fucking clue.